Hi, I'm Travis Bullard. I specialize in two-year-olds uh, here in Lafayette, Texas. My training philosophy first and foremost starts with um, creating a horse that can do a job. Um, all these horses need to be able to do a job, whether it's to uh, go gather some cows, uh, help the neighbors, wherever they go, they need to start with a job. I really want to feel in these colts as two-year-olds is the try. Whether they're trying to listen to me, whether they're trying to read the cow, as long as they're trying to figure out what I want, that's a win for me. I think about kids playing sports, as long as they're trying to get better every day, we've got something we can work with. They are so broke when they return. Um, they are so tied to a cow. The three-year-old that I made the semis on was started by Travis. And when they come back, the, you can tell that the work has been put in. They're so broke in the face for me. And that is such a huge part for my program because if they're broke in the face, then I can go on and do whatever else I need to do. Very tied to a cow. They're very quiet, but th for me, most of all, they're very confident when I get them. Travis puts in the extra mile on all of those colts because you can ride them out, you can open gates, all the things that we're looking for when we get them back from a guy. He stays at home a lot. I don't have to worry about him missing a week going to a show. And that's what I like about Travis, I really do. His, his work ethic is so good. JJ Jazare is the first one I've uh showing behind him. Uh, he did an outstanding job. I got her um, probably January of her three-year-old year this year. She was just did an excellent job. Very soft, very broke, very connected to a cow. Um, I feel like he was very extremely easy to follow. I mean, I, I felt like he definitely spent the time on him. Um, we ride out in the pasture a lot. I could take her outside. She was very comfortable for a, for a little hotter, wilder horse. She was very comfortable about everything definitely would, would recommend him or send him another horse for sure. I'm working my horses, one thing I'm thinking about a lot is I'm trying to ride the whole body, the whole mind of the horse. Not just the head and neck or not just the stop, but the, but the whole body. Um, to me that's what controls the cow. Um, goals I have with every horse is just that they go on and have a foundation to be winners next year. Um, I also think it's a really important part, piece of my job to uh, teach these horses how to accept training next year. This is a little cold I just started. Got a couple of rides on him here. I can get on him. I'm just going to rub on him. I want him to be comfortable. I like to see him prick their ears and just travel. Really important to me at this stage in the game that they're just traveling straight. As long as they're free and traveling straight, following the feel of that rope. From the time I start them in the round pin, I want to be able to move their hips and then lead their front end out across there. Ideally, I want to be able to pull that right front foot across my right hand, pull that left front foot, should lead with my left hand. I can feel him starting to want to slow down there, and I'll just Speed him up, try to do less sooner, instead of letting him slow down and then kicking him, I'll just increase my energy. Before he slow, before he breaks stride, just encourage him. I come over here, I can rub him to stop. Definitely would, would recommend him or send him another horse for sure.